Hello and welcome to this video on Championship Manager Season 99-2000. Now this video is all about some top tips to help your managerial career flourish. Now I've got plenty more where these came from, so if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Because at the end of the day, knowledge is power. And I will share with you everything I know about this game, because I've been playing it long enough. Anyway, without any further ado, here's top tip number one. This one is all about time, that precious commodity, time. There's a great quote that comes with this. Failure to prepare is preparing to fail. If you haven't left yourself enough time, how can you possibly prepare properly? That's a uh, tongue twister. So, this image adds a bit more detail to that. So, if you start a game in England, no matter with who you start with, it could be a Premier League team or a lower league team, the game starts on the 10th of July 1999 and four weeks later your first league game is on the 7th of August. Italy it's even shorter, you only get three weeks. Same with Spain, you get three weeks from the game starting to your first league game. Not a lot not a lot of time to move players on, get your transfer targets in, sort your coaches out and you don't want to be left in a situation where you're playing your left back at right back and you throw in a kid from the reserves centre half for that season opener last thing you want so what can you do to prevent this i will show you how i will show you what to do even so you start a new game start a new game whether you imagine england italy or spain select the required league again you don't have to select them all but select the one you're managing in and there's one other league you need to select it's this one denmark so hit next, select start season, again it's Denmark you need to select. You don't have to manage in Denmark, it's nothing to do with managing in Denmark. It's just managing in their time zone. So, what does that do for you? I will show you now. With this slide. So, in Denmark the game starts on the 27th of June. So straight away if you're managing an English side... You've got an extra two, nearly two weeks to prepare, an extra 13 days to prepare. Now, those 13 days could be invaluable. But look at this. If you manage a team in Italy, for example, you've got treble the time now to prepare. You're no longer starting the season on the 8th of August. You're starting on the 27th of June, and you've got 63 days to prepare. And if you're starting in Spain, nearly as much, eight weeks. So you've just given yourself all that time to assemble your squad and go for it um, as best as you can from, from day one. So that is top tip number one. Okay. And now we'll move on to top tip number two. Again, please subscribe. Plenty more where these came from. This is top tip number two. So you started your game. You selected Denmark. You put your name in. Again, doesn't matter who you manage, doesn't matter what nationality you are. So we'll say we'll manage in England and we will be uh, Wigan, let's say, for example. Take control of Wigan. Yes. Finish. There you go. The 27th of June, 1999. First league game is until the 7th of August away at Stoke. It's not a Tuesday night in Stoke, it's a Saturday afternoon in Stoke. Deal with that though when it comes. Okay, so this is top tip number two. So let's say you want a particular player who isn't interested in coming to you. So I will show this by doing this. So go and play a search, filters. And let's say, uh, I think of a team higher up. I think Barnsley are in the championship. We'll go Barnsley. So type in Barnsley. And Barnsley's squad appears in the player search filter. So go on the filters again. Let's see who's interested in coming to Wigan from Barnes. And there's five players. Now, I imagine they're all on quite low money. Yeah, they're all on about 200 quid each. 150 between 150 and 275. So, we don't pro probably won't want any of those players to uh, bolster our squad at Wigan. So, let's go to Barnsley. And let's see uh, some other players we might want. See, these will be out of our realm, probably. In fact, what i best do is see what we can actually offer players. So what could we offer Stuart Barlow? 1,200 quid we're offering at the minute. Andy Liddell, how much can we offer him? Is it just him or is it? No, 1,200 quid. So 
200 quid we now know is our limit for uh, players, okay? So, without any further ado, let's go down to players who want less than 1200 but weren't interested in coming. So, Brian O'Callaghan wasn't on that list, I'm pretty sure. No. So, Brian O'Callaghan. We'll go for him. He's on a grand a week. I'll say I'll offer half a million quid. Let's say Brian O'Callaghan is the absolute our top target and the one player we need. I mean, he probably is in his 18 and his stats aren't very good. But let's say this is the player you, you want so bad, you know this is going to transform your fortunes, okay? So we move on. I might just skip this bit. You don't need to see all this. Again. Carl Bradshaw's getting a lot of uh, attention. Again, when teams are... So we've got three teams here. Been, this is a tip that I haven't included, but you can have this one. So 220 grand. Never say yeah, except, oh, that's good money. Ask for a million. Chances are someone will come back and offer you a million. Okay, oh God, sorry about this. Hopefully that's the last team interested. Oh my, everybody wants Carl Bradshaw. Is that good? Anyway, hopefully that's the last one it is. Ah, Bazzi want negotiation with Cal again. Yeah, no worries. Hang on, our transfer funds have just shot up to three million. How's that happened? Don't know, but I'm not going to complain. There you go, look. Everyone's given up on Cal Bradshaw, but Paulson said, yeah, we'll pay a million quid. So, just an example of how you can definitely extort more money out of teams. Now, look, Brian O'Callaghan, normally there's an asterisk next to what he wants. He doesn't want anything. He doesn't want to come. But we'll offer him it. Indispensable to the club, show him how much he means to us. There's no interest in negotiating terms. We'll offer him the most we can, which is 1800 at the minute, that's gone up. And then this is where the magic happens, possibly. It doesn't always work, but sometimes it does. So, the contract, it's a six year contract. We don't want to discuss anything at the minute. So let's get that out of the window. We just want him to come into the building. We just want to get him in the building to at least discuss things. 15 grand, say, if he's if he's this important to your teams, 300 grand, okay? If you've got the money to, to do this, obviously. If you haven't got the money, you can't do this. But if you've got 300 grand knocking around, but you know Brian O'Callaghan is the man, offer it. So we've offered him a, literally a no-length contract. We've basically offered him 300 grand to come to, the, to come to the club at the nearest opportunity, haven't we? Cal Bradshaw's gone to Portsmouth, that's a million quid, cheers. Now someone wants Roy Carroll again. Let's let's be dangerous. Maybe two and a half is a bit much, but let's offer 2.1, see what someone says. You never know. Right, he's, he's rejected us, Kirk Callahan. Okay, so take his contract down to nothing. Let's say again, if you've got this money, 750 grand. Do that. See if it's uh, see if that'll be enough to lure him. Look at that, seven hundred and fifty grand. Now, Brian O'Callaghan will come to Wigan. So it's cost us a fair while. It's cost us six hundred and fifty grand um, transfer fee. Let's make sure he signs first. Come on. Oh my God, what's the game loading now? There we are. He's in the building. We've got Brian O'Callaghan. He's turned up at the club. He's contracted. He's not even got a... He could literally leave tomorrow. Okay, but he's in the building. We've introduced him. We've given him a great tour of the ground. We've treated him really well. We've given him an extra sausage on his uh, fried breakfast this morning. Everything's uh, good to go. I say, oh, Brian, we need to chat, don't we, mate? So, yeah, after training, just let's have a word. So I get the chairman. We sit down. There we go, look. Now he expects a wage of 2,300 quid. So he's done all right for himself. He was on a grand at Barnsley. He's now, he then was on 1,800 quid. And now he wants 2,300 quid until June 2005. Okay. So yeah, we'll, we'll match that. So you know, we'll give you two, two and a half grand, mate. And that, if Brian O'Callaghan was the saviour, that, fingers crossed, it's cost us a fair white mind. And you can get rid of your non-promotion and relegation release clauses that's I've not gone too in depth with this contract all I want to do is get him to sign on the dotted line 
Okay, now you rejoin me, and thank God for that. He took his time, but Brian O'Callaghan has accepted the terms we offered. Two and a half grand um, until 2005. So if Brian O'Callaghan was the player that you needed to really do, you know, to really complete the jigsaw, complete the puzzle, then it's cost us a fair whack. Let's have a look how much it's cost us. So, uh, just like nobody else. So expenditure. So it costs 750 grand. Sorry, that's his sign on page, 750 grand, wasn't it? So we bought him for about 652, 70, I don't know why that says that. It was 650 grand, and the sign on fee was set. So it's cost us about 1.3 million quid. This is an extreme example. And he certainly wasn't worth any of this. But if he was that important to us, we've done what needs to be done, and we've got it over the line. So that was the top tip number two. Took a bit longer than I uh, envisaged. Ended up having to play a league game and a cup game, but never mind, we got there in the end. Uh, got absolutely hammered in all of them because I've, I've just stuck a team out. And top tip number three. Back to the game we go. Again, please subscribe if you haven't already. So, all this is going to show is, let's say you've, um, you really do like a particular player we're going to go to Barnsley, for example. Eddie Moses, stick him on your shortlist. When you've got players who you know are successful every game you play, or you know you really want to sign them pretty much every game, or they're particularly good in lower leagues and you think, oh, I'm definitely going to sign them. Again, we've only three players to the shortlist. Okay, make sure, whatever you do, so you go on your player search, your shortlist is there. Make sure you save it, okay? Make sure you save your shortlist. So we go and search, save as. I've got mine there, look, the usual suspects. That's got all the players I ever try and sign in there. Lower league and the better players, just so I've got them all to hand. So I haven't got to go searching for every single player every time. And then call it what you want. So we're Wigan out here, so the Wigan Atleticos. Okay, so there you go. Your players you'd like to scout every single game are now saved. And now next time, whatever game you start, all you do is you load up Wigan Atleticos and you'll get your three, well, however many you want to add to your shortlist. They're all there, raring to go, ready for the start of the season. So, three top tips there to uh, help you in the game. First one all about time, getting you that extra time, which is such a valuable commodity. Uh, the second one was about, obviously, getting any player within reason, uh, paying way over the odds by mine, and nearly having your pants pulled down if you don't sign the contract. If he doesn't sign the contract, that's an awful tip, and I apologise. But 10 to 1, if they've come into the building, and you've made them feel at home, and you give them a tour, and all the lads treat them nice, and they get on well, and they've not had a nightmare getting in, you give them a training kit, get their initials on, so BO for Brian Callaghan, that sounds a bit wrong. Put B.O. on his track tracksuit. Get get the kit lady to put B.O. on his uh, tracksuit. That's again, that sounds weird. The letters B.O. on his tracksuit, and um, yeah, fingers crossed he signs. And the tip number three is just to utilise that shortlist. Make sure all the players you like, you add them to your shortlist. So that was top tip number three. Little uh, little hint there to subscribe again. But yeah. Thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. There's plenty more where they came from. I'm going to keep doing a few of these. So, yeah, please do subscribe. But again, most of all, thank you very much for watching.